nothing beats that feeling of having a brand new dirt bike. And if you want it to last a long time, I've got a few tips for you that might help you out. Okay, so when you get a brand new dirt bike, nothing beats that. And so I tell guys, there's some guys that are gonna have a brand new dirt bike and they're only gonna have it for six or 12 months. Okay, now if that's the case, that's a totally different scenario. Maybe you don't need to address all these issues, but I'm gonna give you some things to look for on a brand new bike to, to you want to address to have it last a long time. One of the first things I would do is pull out these chain adjuster bolts when it's brand new. Pull them, take the wheel off and pull these out all the way and put grease or anti-seize on these bolts. This way, they will last a long time. Ideally, you would take off your swing arm completely and grease the linkage in this, the, the, the bearings in the, in the swing arm and all of your linkage joints. You would grease every single one of them as well as pulling off the steering stem and greasing these and these. Now, guys will ask me, do I need to do it when it's brand new? And the answer is no. You could get away, I would say, depending, especially, let's say it's wet and you're washing your bike a lot, you ride in motocross and it's getting wet a lot and getting in there, six to 12 months, everything should be fine. But we've had bikes with only like nine to 10 months range and the steering stem bearings have gotten corroded out on certain bikes. So that's something to watch for. So I would not wait longer than six months to do all your bearings on your bike. They do not come packed very well. Also on brand new dirt bikes, you can even see the color right here. And this bike's got less than 15 hours on it. And the, the color of the fluid you can see is already a bit burnt looking. And this, we noticed this and we would change out these fluids within the first 20 hours. I, I don't think there's any problem with running it the way it is, but that's something I would do. Now, also on current four strokes or even a two stroke, I would change the oil after the first 30 to 40 minutes of riding, just because they don't give a lot of oil and they don't put a high quality oil in there. So I would run the oil. Also, a lot of the shavings from the engine will all get absorbed into the oil there that from that initial startups time, dump that out, put a new oil filter in and fill that thing up completely and you're good to go. It's a really good idea to have an hour meter on your bike. If it doesn't come with one stock, some of the brands do, get an hour meter on your bike because guys will always guesstimate at how many hours are on a piston, how many hours are on the oil changes and all that. Okay, now on certain bikes, which honestly is most bikes other than KTMs, the stock chain is garbage. So one of the best things you could do is to not even run the chain ever. This is a stock chain. Ideally, we should have changed this chain to a new chain straight away and the chain and the, the sprockets front and rear would last way longer with a good quality chain on there. The stock chain won't last very long and this bike's only doesn't have very many hours and you can see it's already pulling off from the back here pretty hard. This thing won't last very long. It'll get a lot of side play and start bending that rear sprocket really soon. So do that. Now we had the luxury of knowing that we're going to be riding this bike a while. We wanted to go ahead while everything was nice and straight. We sent our radiators off to ICW to get strengthened up and they were nice and straight and it was a good time to do it before they were tweaked. So everything's nice. Also on this bike straight away, we'd ridden the 21 bike. This is a 22. We went ahead and got the suspension done. We did some testing on the 21 model. So we knew what we needed to change here. Thanks for watching the video this far. If you're going to purchase any dirt bike parts from Rocky Mountain ATV MC, feel free to click on the link in our description below. The stock air filter oil might not be oiled enough. So I would check it before you ride it, I would pull it off and oil it a little bit stronger with good oil so that it's really well oiled. Also, I would like to make sure that all the levers are where I want them to be. And if, since I know I'm gonna have the bike a long time, I would run the bars that I like. Uh, I, I would run the ODI champ bar bends that I like and lock on grips, which we haven't switched over yet, but that's what I would be doing so it's comfortable from day one. Before your first ride, you wanna check sag and get this thing in the 102 to 105 range. And most bikes are 102 to 108. Drastic, you know, differences you can check with Race Tech. They have the specs in there. They'll give you some suggested guidelines in there. I would check your sag and then check it after the first uh, hour and a half, two hours of riding, check it again. Uh, settled in, you might need to add some spring back to it after that initial shock breaks in. Also, when I'm doing, when I'm working on the controls and levers, I like to get just a, leave minimal play here on my new bike setup. I like to have just minimal play at the throttle. When you're setting your sag, it's a good idea to check your air pressure and also bleed your forks on the bikes that have air forks. Uh, on those, you're gonna wanna do that 
uh, before your first ride and then check it regularly from there on out. Now, so the only thing different with a two stroke is I would still do the gear oil, like I said early, and then make sure you have a good mix um, on the fuel mix for your bike. If it's injected, you have the proper oil in there and a fuel mix. Now, last thing is brake in on a brand new bike. I get lots of guys asking me on a two stroke if they need to add extra oil for brake in, um, if they need to heat cycle it and ride it for this and this and this. We found if a bike is good, it's good. There's many guys that will take it straight to the start line. Okay, for a race. We don't do that. We would like to break it in for 20 to 30 minutes, just cruising around speed, cruise it around 30 minutes or so, come in, look it over, let it cool down, and then maybe go ride it for another five, 10 minutes, cool it down, and then take it to your track or trail. That's it. You don't got to go crazy, okay? And then if it was a four stroke and I had that 30 to 40 minutes on it, that's when I'd probably do my first oil change before I took it out to the track or, or trail. Um, I would do it then. So no other big tips. Your coolant, I would just check that it's at the top. You don't need to change it. It's usually uh, plenty fine uh, with the coolant as far as that goes. Tires are very important for your confidence and how you feel. If you're used to riding a certain tire and the bike you bought comes with different tires, that's something to consider. So you might want to make sure that you feel good with the tires that are on there. Uh, we like our, you know, tire compound for the track. We like MX-33 up front, MX-12 in the rear. That's what we really like. And on the trail, we like a trials tire in the rear or a uh, AT81 EX that's optimal or an MX-12 sand tire when we're in the sandy off-road conditions. Okay, when a bike's brand new before you ride it, if you want it to stay looking good and not all scuffed like this, putting graphics on brand new from day one is probably the way to go. So if you don't do it then, it can be a little tougher. The plastic gets scratched up. So if you're going to do graphics, sometimes it's nice to get those things ordered in the same time you get your bike so it's all fresh and the, pl and the graphics are going to stick nice. If you're not stressed about it, then don't worry about it. Just ride it. Okay, so congrats on a brand new bike. And hopefully that helps you out with some ideas and thoughts we have with a brand new bike and some things to look for. And uh, hopefully we'll see you out at the tracker trail soon. Onyx Off-Road. Know where to go with the number one GPS app. Access 500,000 miles of trails and roads, open dates and public lands. The Elite version even shows landowners and property boundaries. Download the Onyx Off-Road app. To save 20%, use the discount code DBTV1.